Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. I'm the Gerbil, and I want to give a quick thank you to Guido HC, sorry, Guido HC 9ZX and the Theory Guy 6155. Both of you pointed out in my last video that the Keller and Beck and IG12 Grogu wins, uh, Global Feet and Conquest 14 are a lot easier than I thought. It turns out, yeah, they are. In fact, it's a three second victory with Dash if you got the right stuff. So let's check out how easy this actually is. So here's my Dash. I just took Caloran back yesterday from gear 12 to Relic 5 because why not? And uh, my IG12 and Grogu are still only four star gear 7. Now the other two team members don't matter does not matter. In fact, that you don't even need it. All you need are those three, Dash, Beck, and Grogu. So you go into the battle, if you have a Leader's Resolve and Zealous Ambitions, I'm running three of them, the other data disks don't matter, you open up with Dash's AoE, and that's it. End of story. Congratulations, Global Feat achieved. At least one stack of Global Feat achieved, right? Because we have to do this 20 times. So, I was wondering like how far can I take this so I went in again and again and again and again and I did it until I got down to I think 40% stamina at which point I could do one of two things I could you know you, you could use um, uh, some stamina booster thingamabobs to pump up dashes it doesn't matter how low Grogu and I uh, Beck get as long as they have at least 1% you can start the battle but you want to make sure that you're watching the Bad Batch turn meter. So I'm keeping an eye on them over there, trying to make sure they don't like creep up on me. Um, something that's kind of cool to remember is Leader's Resolve gives your leader 24% speed on the blue one. And I don't know about the green and the other. So if you have extra Leader Resolves, because that's really what matters here, you could put in a second one and then two or three Zealous Ambitions and you're still going to win this. Uh, but I, I, you know, I got I got five or six consecutive wins. The turn meter crept up, and I thought we still have ten more days of conquest. There is no reason to invest any resources in this, so I stopped right there. But yeah, folks, this is easy. This, a three-second win. I wish. I, I'm glad not all conquest battles could be that easy, but I kind of wish they were. But it's just an example of the monotonous and the idiocy of having to do a, something like this. 20 times over again when all you have to do is go start blah 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 win start blah 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 win in fact it takes more time for me to load the the battle because where i am in the world the great firewall of china wrecks the internet connectivity here so it takes you can see this takes three sometimes five six ten seconds to load the battle just so i can go pew 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 win that was fun right it's just annoying it is so annoying but it's an easy win anyway folks you know the drill if this was helpful hit that like hit that sub please and i will catch you later on the hollow tables thank you for tuning in thanks for watching thank you to my youtube viewers who gave me this tip i, I think i knew this years ago or a long time ago in a previous conquest for a different feat but it's always great to be reminded or to be enlightened when I don't know. So thank you for teaching me so that I can try to help teach you and we make the world, we make the world of Swaga a little bit less stressful at times. All right, take care, bye-bye.